One, two, one, two, three. Okay, so I am outside the Capizio store because John and I are designing custom tap shoes for our wedding and the designer that we want to work with, she moved to Boston but she's here for training. So we jumped at the opportunity to come meet her in person to like show her our thoughts and designs. So I am at the Capizio store. What does this say? Please use the door. I'm at the Capizio store and we're going to chat about um, our designs and I'll go way into depth with what we're gonna do, but uh, I'll vlog as much of this as I can. How's it going? What are we doing today? We're getting our custom made tap shoes. Custom wedding tap shoes. Custom we're starting, wedding tap shoes. starting the design process today, to be clear. It's not like we're walking out of the store with them today. It takes months to get this. So we'll, we've got it started today. Last, this is the shoe, okay. And then we can just do the one on both sides. Just a sides. symbolic gesture, so she's with you during that time, yeah. And Perfect. then is the front, I couldn't tell on this picture, is it rounded? Or it's is it just tapered? like this, yes. a little tapered, okay. Little tapered. okay. But we can change this too, yeah. I think I like the round, mm -hmm. if we can do that, yeah, absolutely cool. Yeah, and I'm thinking some sort of like baby blue because it's going to be my something blue, um, with the detailing. Uh, the overlay in white, or this, whatever that color, the better color you were thinking. Yeah, I have one that's gold. And then I did like the outline too. I don't know what would look best, maybe gold or silver or... The edging over Yeah, there. yeah, that gold edging. To me, with this color palette, gold, because you have blue. Yeah, blue, white. I will almost do silver. Silver, yeah. yeah. I was thinking that's fine because then because my ring's silver. Yeah, so ring too. And I think I I do like this like this like style too with like um, like the wingtip and then it's like a you know like like square kind of like the style of this. Yeah, I really the like. aesthetics of it, yeah. the lines. Yeah, I'm gonna go with something like that. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And as far as the cutouts, you no cutouts. You want to go? Yeah. Yes. Um, I would say I'm not gonna say basic, but something this classy with yeah. the wingtip. Yeah, and the that you like. And then we can I don't know if you want to carry that design around the side or yeah, something. Yeah, we can definitely do yeah. that because that would be perforations. Mm -hmm. We can do it as cutouts. Almost like um, pearls. Yeah, you know exactly. And instead of doing the perforations this way, we can just do them like straight this. across. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I don't have a lot of this. Oh, it's actually a little big. My feet are very straight. From what? Yeah. Oh, that feels good. This is the shoe I'm trying to track down to be like my suit, the shoe that I'm wearing for the day. Okay. And I want uh, my tab shoe to be uh, more enhanced and heightened version of okay. this thing. So the Oxford with the wing tip look is what we're doing. The classic Oxford wing tip, maybe the baby style with stitching at the eyelets to give it some more yes. class. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so for this pair, I want it to be the wing tip for children. Yeah. Um, like this is. That looks like the shoe I did for one of my customers. It was black stitched. You will email me this. Yes. And you will email me your inspiration yep. board, and then we'll move it to that. First thing is I'm gonna give you fabrics. You don't destroy them. I don't know how you kept this one like that. 
Um, they went. They went all the way out. With yeah, their, they did. You know, covering up. They oh, heal. I know. <laughs> In terms of build. Uh, the next were these were made and these were these I grew into liking how these were extra they seem to this is a triple Aha. And then what so what is this is a double double this is what most people get okay triple triple I have a few I, I professionals this is, well. this is triple yeah all right then I definitely want the double, double. Mm -hmm. This is a nice option For the Chanel which is this one the more tan yeah Silver. Let me say so nice. charcoal. Or a gray suede. I have grays. Different textures. Oh my god! I just want every color. Yeah, I know. The first time I did one of these, I sat here for hours. Look. I have nothing here to really show you because they're more on the pebbles and uh -huh. here. Charcoal lead, dark, charcoal uh -huh. is nice. Then we have the pebble. Oh. This is this here is the one I use most. Uh -huh. It's really popular. I like that over the Pueblo. Yeah, this one is a little greenish to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like these two, Not maybe not necessarily together, together but one or the other. Yeah. Um, from the blue that Emily has already shown me, mm -hmm. this will probably work best. No, we'll do that. Now. Right? Yeah. Hi friends, so it's a couple days later and I'm editing together our video about our custom made tap shoes. So we met with Yolani like literally on a whim. She happened to be in town. She is now in Boston during the pandemic. Um, and we happened to see on Instagram that she was at the Capizio store. So I messaged her and I was like, hey, any chance you could fit us in? And we want to talk to you about two pairs of custom tap shoes for our wedding. And she said, yes, if you can get here by 445. So we like literally ran and dropped everything to go do that. Um, so I just like grabbed the camera and started filming because I didn't really have time to play. Plan. But basically, we had our like consultation with her and like gave her ideas, and then she talked to us about like her thoughts about it. Um, and then we emailed her our vision boards, and then she's gonna send us um, swatches of fabric to pick out. And she said once we sort of decide on the fabrics, then she can sketch out. So she sketches it out from hand what we're thinking the design is, um, and then we can go into production on it. So I figured I'd sit down with you guys and sort of explain. And I have our vision boards, and we can I can show you our vision boards for what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna pull it up on my phone but I'll put it up on the screen here so we'll do a split screen okay so let's talk about mine so for my custom I'm doing custom Capizio they're K360 high heels um the heel is going to be a two and a half inch um and I did uh I'll I'll pull up these pictures so I saw this picture which is like an open side shoe which I I love the round front of it but I didn't like the side I wanted it to be a closed shoe I felt like that was more elegant like for a wedding and for post um like using the shoes after my wedding so where is my vision board okay so here's my vision board so on the top you have that red and white shoe that is going to be the style of the shoe so you see it's it's basically a regular k360 and they put that little skinny high heel on it um we're not doing the that color scheme at all um but we're definitely going to go with this style of a high heel which is really exciting so the shoe is going to be baby blue because it's going to be my custom my custom it's going to be my something blue so i have that high heel blue down there i'm not going to do suede but that's sort of like the baby blue color that i was looking at um which i think is really beautiful and then we're going to offset that with this um almost ivory she has like a sh um shimmery ivory that she said is really pretty um if you look at this the pink and ivory shoe so i really like the design of this pink and ivory shoe so i, ha I gave her creative liberties but like but using this as the inspiration for the design i am also going to do a, a lining so on this pink shoe there's gold lining on there gold edging we're going to do silver edging um, for my shoe since the color is going to be ivory and baby blue and then we're going to try to incorporate a, an element of my dress in here so i have this like um ribbing on my dress that you can see and i want to use that for the um like open almost bubbles that you see on that pink and uh, ivory shoe so that there's like an element of my dress personalized to the shoe. 
And then I get, I told her like, I do like the two tone and she can play around with, you know, uh, designing what the side of the shoe was going to look like. We're going to do no cutouts or anything. Um, we are going to do, um, a single build on the bottom, not too tall. And then we're going to do tan, uh, wood on the bottom. So not black. Um, I'm, I don't, we haven't really discussed about the heel color. It may be brown or it may continue whatever the color the baby blue is. We're still talking about that. Also, I have my mom. So, um, for those of you who don't know, I don't think I've ever really talked about this on my channel. My mom passed away when I was 10 and, um, her favorite flower was a hyacinth. So I'm incorporating the hyacinth into my bouquet, my bridal bouquet. Um, and I wanted to incorporate that onto my wedding shoes as well. So, um, we're going to, she said she's going to embroider, um, a part. She's just going to kind of copy this flower and then she's going to embroider the flower onto the back of my shoe, just on one side so that there's a little bit of an element of mama with me on my wedding day. So that's my vision board for the top shoes. This is for our first dance. Um, now I'll talk about John's shoes. So here's John's vision board. Um, he's had several pairs of custom K360s made. So he is looking for a particular type of shoe for the actual wedding. So for the ceremony and reception. And then he wants a heightened version of that for uh, the, the first dance. So this is his vision board. Obviously he loves gray. We're going to do um, a, maybe a two-tone. He kind of likes this pattern. So John's going to, mine's just going to be leather and maybe a shimmer. No textures of my leather, um, but John's going to do like a fun textured leather. He's going to do a double build. Um, some of his shoes have been triple built, so he's going to do a double build. And he's gonna, you know, play around with like metallics and different fabrics. He's gonna do tan on the bottom, so tan soles, not black soles. I think that may change. Obviously, this is our first, this will be a long process, and I'm gonna take you guys all the way through, which is really fun. Um, but yeah, so, and he likes, you know, the, the stippling and the edging and like the holes. And um, so she's gonna have kind of like free reign to kind of come up with a really fun des design for, um, for that. And then I'm debating, and maybe you guys can comment down below and like let me know what you you think so I'm starting to look for my shoes that I'm gonna wear for my ceremony and the reception and all my photos um, and I when I was younger I was like oh maybe I'll buy a pair of Jimmy Choo's but Jimmy Choo's are so expensive and I don't know that I would ever wear a pair of white Jimmy Choo's ever again I also like I tried on my wedding dress in a pair of like plain tan shoes and I took them off after 30 minutes because my feet hurt so I was like I don't want to spend all this money on a pair of shoes that I am gonna kick off and put sneakers on so do I also then do a custom pair of Laduca character shoes that then when I'm done with the wedding can put a base on and put make them tap shoes? Help me. I don't know what the answer is. Like to me, the answer is yes, because that's a valuable like investment because I'm going to be tapping so I can turn my wedding shoes into tap shoes. P comment down below, but I'm going to show you my vision board for that. <laughs> I haven't had a, I, I chatted with them about price range and how, how to go about that. Um, and I can set a time to go in and get fitted if I wanted to, but I'm still really indecisive about if I actually want to do that or not. Um, okay. So here's the vision board for the Laduca. So the Laduca shoe is going to be the opposite. So this is for walking down the aisle, ceremony, taking pictures beforehand, getting ready. And then the thought would be that because they're character shoes that are comfortable at a two and a half inch heel, you should be able to wear them all night. So the goal would be to wear them all night. I mean, I think I'll buy a pair of like $30 sneakers in case like I want to just kick off my shoes and dance. Um, but the goal would be to make them so comfortable that I wear them all night, um, which would be really cool. Okay, so here's the vision board for this. So these are going to be a, like a white ivory and like I can try to zoom in. So I don't know if you can see on this top shoe, there's like, it's like a shimmery texture, like a white shimmery texture. So that would be the entirety of the shoe, this like white shimmery texture. And I'm debating between the style. So I like the pink shoe style because it's got that rounded front without a T-strap because I'm like, is a T-strap weird for a wedding, a T-strap shoe? Because my original idea was to go with the Angelique, which is right here, um, that tan Angelique. That's what my custom cat shoes are. I was going to take that and just play around with the design, but I kind of like not the T-strap shoe. Comment down below. Do you like the T-strap or do you like the pink shoe style, not the colors? And then I thought it would be fun to do 
um, this red Leduca, red and gold. I don't like the front of it, so I want the front of the shoe to be white, but I liked the gold edging, and I was thinking of doing the baby blue gold, ed the baby blue edging um, as my something blue for the ceremony and reception. And then I also wanted to try to incorporate the hyacinth flower into, into the back of the Leduca, and then maybe take the edging from my dress, like I'm doing on the other shoe, and incorporate it somehow into the Leduca. I'm still debating on that. So I, ha, what, let me know your thoughts, but these, this, this is the inspiration and this is the first step. So we've emailed her, um, our, our stuff. She's going to get back to us. She's going to send us in the mail, like physical. Um, I don't know if you saw in the video where you, we were looking at swatches. She's going to send us swatches so we can pick the leather. And then from there, she's going to hand draw the design. And then we'll probably go back and forth about the, yes, this, no, this, yes, this, no, this. And then it'll go into production. The last time John got shoes made, it took about, they said it could take about eight months, but it took about four or five. So we'll see. I mean, we have plenty of time, which is why we're starting this process early. But yes, so it's happening. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm really excited to share this journey with you guys. Um, if you have any questions about how we're going about designing the shoes or, you know, what the process entails or, like, how do you even do that, leave a comment down below and I can do a whole series on, like, how to go about designing shoes. But, yes, yeah, so excited, so excited, so excited. Um, as soon as we get our emails from her, I will update you on how it's going. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click that subscribe button because it really support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.